A doctor wheelchair bound by MS minimizes her symptoms with nutrition and spends the next decade trying to prove her plan works in clinical trials. For one young mother, she has all the proof she needs. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in May of 2011. I started having some balance problems and lost vision in my left eye. Went to several doctors. Finally, after all the tests, they figured out it was multiple sclerosis. So I went to the neurologist and I was handed three binders of drugs. Had a couple of relapses. After my second relapse, the conversation came up with the neurologist to switch tiers of medication. My symptoms got really terrible, the cognitive fog, the fatigue, my walking was terrible. It was just really hard to have things stripped away from you. And I discovered the WALS protocol, researched everything I could about it, read the book cover to cover multiple times. I taught myself the protocol and I implemented the protocol. So all of those symptoms that I described and more have completely reversed for me. It's been an amazing transformation. Lisa joins us now with Dr. Terry Walls. And wow, I am, I'm so happy for you. And to think about the side effects of going on this diet, and I'm seeing pictures of you doing pull-ups and probably these, you know, like whatever those Tough Mudder races are. I, and I'm seeing you tear up here right now. Talk to us about the transformation that changing your diet has made in your life. Oh, it's huge. I was, um, I was a special education teacher for a long time and I had to quit my job because of the symptoms. So um, doing the protocol has been amazing because it's brought my health back. Where is your health now? Oh, it's great. <laughs> I actually switched careers because of it. So I, I became a functional nutritional therapy practitioner and a Walls health professional with Dr. Walls. And how, in your, how did it progress that you just said, you know what, uh, my doctors aren't helping me. I need to try something else. I need to look into other avenues, and then you discovered Dr. Wall's protocol. How, how did that come about? So it was 2015, and I was having to switch between a tier one and a tier two MS drugs because I kept declining. And I was, you know, I did marathons, half marathons, and I did tough matters, and I was a fitness instructor, and I did all this stuff, and I wasn't able to do a lot of that stuff anymore. So it was really frustrating. So I started researching alternative treatments um, online, and then I found the, the protocol. I found Dr. Wall's TED Talk. So I watched it and I got really excited and I bought the book and then I brought it to my neurologist who told me that those people don't last long. So, sorry. So then, so then I dropped it and then um, a couple years later, lots of decline, um, tremendous decline. I wasn't able to go in the pool with my kids or go sledding or do active things. And I'm really active, so that was really hard for me. So then um, my husband switched jobs. I had to quit my teaching job all at the same time. And then I picked up the protocol again. I told my husband that it always felt right and I needed to do it. I just want to say sorry because I am absolutely floored that any physician in today's day and world would tell you that by minimizing processed foods and eating whole, true, nutritious foods, would cause a decline, would cause you to not last long. And I, I apologize for our entire profession. I don't want to throw any one particular person under the bus. How, how hard was making this, uh, this, I guess, pretty dramatic shift in your diet? I had a lot to live for. So I had my kids. That was so, your motivation. Yes. Thank you so much for, for sharing your story. Like, I know that you are helping so many people right now, whether they're dealing with MS or they're dealing with another disease process and they're having a hard time, you are showing them what strength and hope looks like. Like, what do you want? Yeah. What do you want people to take from your story? Well, I want them to know that it's possible to heal because I was never given that possibility and it's very possible to heal. Don't give up on yourself. No. Nope. Don't give yourself grace and heal. And is there anything you would like to say to Dr. Walls? Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, just thank you.